Rich Swingle, and I'm the accent coach on Washington's Armor. I'm also playing the tavern cook. I hope you'll all come round to me tavern for some toad and ho. Washington's Armor is a profoundly important story for our times. Yeah, I saw the pilot for Washington's Armor at Content 19, the film festival, and I was just blown away by it. And so to actually be a part of this is, is very exciting for me. It has nine different accents that we've identified in the episodes that we're shooting during this production window. So that's been a challenge to uh, to find out all the hallmarks of those and help our actors get prepared. But it's been a delight. So we, we've got several characters that are from various parts of Scotland. We have various early American accents that we have kind of invented based on research. And then we have French, French Canadian, and am I missing anything? Scouse, which is what they speak in Liverpool. We stay warm with tea. So the most challenging accent of the nine that, we're, that we have here on Washington's Armor was Delaware. And the reason is that people who spoke it as children and learned English as a second language, there haven't been any on the earth for two or three generations. So I was overjoyed to find a chart which talked about how the Delaware used their uh, their alphabet in the Lenape language, which is the language that they spoke. And so we found out that they had no R's, so that when the English language was introduced to the Delaware, they probably used a tapped R like the Scots do. J or soft G sound is not there. They don't have that sound. They don't have an A sound. They don't have an O sound. So with all of that, we end we looked at the Lenape talking dictionary so we could hear the language. People do speak the language, they just didn't grow up speaking it. And so we listened to the sounds and the musicality of the language. And so the three lines we have in these episodes, Stobo Major Stobo became Stubu. Machor Stubu. I come with massage. So we feel like we're resurrecting an accent that hasn't been spoken in uh, maybe hundreds of years. Mm -hmm.